probably be inside. Your membership? Yeah. So the vibes are casual because I honestly don't think we'll be doing any like fancy dinners. I'm literally going like weekday. So this is what we got so far. So I hadn't been thrifting for summer, obviously, up until this point because it's been frigid here in Canada. But since I'm going to Florida, I thought it'd be appropriate. However, the sections were pretty slim when it came to summer stuff, which kind of shocked me because sometimes they have a lot out and sometimes they just don't. I was hoping to find some bikinis, but they didn't even have swimwear stocked. So this is kind of what I found. I had a lot of luck in the athletic wear section because I guess that's kind of a universal year round section that they can stock that has tanks and shorts. The dresses were also pretty good. They do have summer dresses in the winter. So here's a bit of what I was looking at. I find that if you're doing a carry-on, sticking to a specific color palette is key. So this peach tank did not make the cut. It's also not my favorite color and it was missing some buttons. So I stuck more towards greens, reds, blacks, and kind of neutral cargo items. So was that worth it? Hopefully, because I might've just got a Rolex for $25. I like know it's very unlikely that someone would actually just straight up donate a Rolex, but I got cute other things, and hey, if I can just flex with my fake Rolex, I'm not mad. Okay, so we're gonna go through what I got, the prices, and then I don't know what's next, to be honest. This Danier Moto jacket for $19. This fancy club, oh, I mean Le Chateau dress for $17.99. This long denim skirt for $9.99. This amazing Le Chateau dress for $14.49. This really cool mini sports skirt, $4. This dead stock blue crew neck, $12.99. I love this color for the sun. Denim dress for $6.49. Costa Blanca top for $6.49. This cargo mini skirt for $4.99. I still like tie-dye, it makes me happy, and this one was $5.49. It's really pretty lingerie top, $4.49. These gauchos with the built-in belts, $5.99. Amazing dead stock gym brand merch. The details on this are insane. Since it was dead stock, it was $7.99, but I'm gonna wear this forever. Oh, I got two of these. I forgot, cute little pointel pink tops, $4.99. And lastly, this dress, which again, was $6.49. I'm really not a fan of the top, but wait to see what I do with it, because it looks like a promising thrift flip. I'm ready. So we're almost 24 hours before the trip, and last night wasn't feeling the hottest, and I waited too late at night when it was dark to film me trying on outfits, but let me just tell you guys, there are some good fits. There are some good interchangeable fits, and everything here was $100. I realized I forgot to show you guys the accessories, so I'm gonna do that momentarily. But yeah, I just wanted to say, this is totally attainable. I also added in these shorts that I got on Poshmark for $12. Love to see it. Excited to wear these. Scared for my ass. Excited overall. Of course I overdid it. I packed some other things, but we're not including those in this. But I still want to show you how literally everything fit in this carry-on. I use these packing cubes. I got them off Amazon. I think I showed you guys already. Did I show you? I might have shown you in a vlog. They are so helpful. And even for when you're coming back, like I packed some extra ones because this is my like personal item. It's quite large, but it's the Bagu bag and it has saved my butt on every trip that I've taken in the last year or so. It's like nice and squishy so you can fit a lot in there. The bag is packed and ready to go. It's got like three pairs of shoes, bathing suits, everything you can need. What did I take out of here? I even have a leather jacket. I'm considering packing another hoodie, but it might be overkill. Let me show you the accessories quick and then we will wrap up some final thoughts. Just have this ribbon. I'm gonna tie this little floral clip that I got at the thrift store onto it. It is not here. It's already packed away. I got two other fun like beachy necklaces. This one is so pretty. It's like this kind of pearly stone on these white beads. And then I got a heart pendant, but I'm kind of over the normal heart pendant. So I got this red one on the pink beads. I love it. Those are $4.99 and $2.99. Then for $2.99, I got these green cross country kicks sunglasses. I also got these for $3.99. I don't think there's a brand on them, but, oh, they're the buy the brand outdoor. I don't know. Something about these are just very 90s and I don't think I actually have a style like this. And if you guys know me, you know that that pink thing over there is full of sunglasses and exploding. So definitely don't need a ton. Okay, these are my best finds. I found the Rolex, absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous and I don't care if it's fake. It was $24, so it was a little expensive, but I'm obsessed with it. 
And then also to go with that red dress that I got, I found this one. This is such a statement piece. I don't like wearing bracelets, but I think I might be a watch person now. All of this total minus the Rolex, I think was like 15, 10, 15 dollars. And I'm so excited to wear all this. Insane, insane, beautiful pieces and a couple new fun sunglasses. So those are gonna get packed up right now before I forget them, because I hate when I forget my accessories. Wow, the beauty filter is really fucked up on TikTok. I'm like filming that over here and filming this over here and I'm like, hmm. I wonder why people are more into TikTok these days because we all look better over there. Anyways, that's a whole tangent for a whole other day. But to wrap up today's tangent, I don't want to see any more shopping on Zara, shopping on Revolve, shopping like even sustainable brands for a vacation because it is truly so wasteful. I've been there before, I've done that, so I'm not judging anyone that's still in that phase, but Thrifting is truly such a great option. ThreadUp's a great option. eBay, Poshmark, Depop, all of these other sites are incredible. Getting a bundle by me. Shameless self-plug, but I could definitely do that for you if you're going on vacation. Fun, affordable, good for the planet. I genuinely think too that you're gonna bring in some pieces to your wardrobe that you're not gonna wanna get rid of versus like these fast fashion clothing items that literally everyone and their mother is going to have on your vacation or in the season to come. I just find that we get tired of these things really quick and they're so one use and then done so if you guys want to talk about this more feel free to dm me but i hope you enjoyed this video and i am so excited to be in the sun tomorrow so stay tuned for fun vlogs and i'll see you guys then Mwah. love ya